Welcome back to another exciting episode of Stone Soldiers. Today, Stone Soldier Rocky Buttface. Um, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Hey, whoa. It's these guys! Hey, they have multiple sword techniques, just like they did in the game. Those are more enemies from Epic Battle Fantasy 3. Stupid bats. Lots of boo-bats. I wonder if there's a bestiary included in this game. I always love bestiaries, because I love... I have a weird love of knowing what things are named, and I love the little descriptions they give to enemies. I don't know. I just like knowing things, so I guess that's why. But I always love little bestiaries that have little... You know, have the name, little descriptive text. I don't even generally care if they have the stats of the enemy listed. Because, you know, I'm just reading them for fun, not to try and, you know, figure out their weakness. But for for RPG stuff, it really can be helpful to actually, you know, be able to see their stats. It's especially helpful in certain Final Fantasy games, because you can see what enemies are good for grinding that way. Though I usually just try to find cactars, because they're usually good for grinding. Speaking of cactars, I'm going to stab you in the face! Ow. Worth it. Alright, let's go in this thingy and see what's in the thing. Spikes! My thingy is full of spikes. I uh, should have phrased that differently. I think you... Yeah, you stop to cast spells. I thought it lagged for a sec, but what's really just happening is you... You know, you lose your momentum, so you stop for a second and uh, cast the spell. So it's not really lagging. Ow. Oh, look at me, I'm Mr. Jumping Erratically. Yeah. Right. Can't stand on those. But it really looks like you should. It just looks like it's in the foreground. Ha! <laughs> Eat spikes. Spikes, now part of this balanced breakfast. <laughs> you like the spikes, huh? Eat those spikes. Spikes! No spikes for you to eat, so I'm just gonna have to kill you. Ooh, we got armor, finally. I am not a clever person. Well, let's try not to die. Ha 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 ha. That'll happen. I also like the fitting death sounds. Lots of games don't bother to make, you know, death sounds for each character. But I like the stone enemies sort of like shatter. The other stuff has a more generic death sound, but... Oh hey, this guy, the cactus guy stayed dead. That's nice. Hey, whoa. Okay, these guys... Ow. Yeah, those guys are dangerous. Oops. Well, let's see what this thing does. Just more health, right? That might be useful. Yeah, let's go with... Actually, I don't know. Let's try this. Wait, no. Let's try... Let's not do that. Let's... Hmm. What I'm thinking is that since I have to heal so much, I don't think my base HP matters that much. It's more my ability to heal, so we're gonna try this setup. I'm gonna regret this, my attacks do, like, no damage. Not really that bad since I'm using the ninja hood, too. These guys are fast. But I like those guys. You sort of have to... you gotta... You gotta watch what they're doing to dodge, which is a very... It's a Mega Man sort of thing. You have to actually pay some goddamn attention to their attack to dodge, which is nice. Wait, I wanna see how this... Stealing MP thing works. Does it just happen every time I kill them, or what? Come here. Let me kill you. Ha ha ha! 
Maybe it's just totally random? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's just totally random. And I just totally wasted MP for no reason. Ow. Somehow I knew that was coming, and I didn't do a damn thing. Okay, so this this is actually pretty helpful. Because healing is definitely better than having more HP in hard mode. Probably in all modes, really. At least if you're going to actually take damage. Actually, if you don't actually take damage, I guess HP doesn't really matter either. One thing, it'd be neat if, like, spikes grew out of these guys, like, and it was animated on their actual character, but I know that's relatively a lot harder to do than just, you know, make them glow and shoot out spikies. But I like how these guys are animated. The little stone soldier dudes. I'm not gonna go that far down. And I like that the background, the far background, changes every time. And suddenly, forestness. Okay then. Another nice side effect of having less HP is that I cast my healing spell less. Especially since I add more magic. So this is actually a good reason to actually use magic. Ow. Because I heal now 16 instead of 10 in HP. So you've convinced me to actually use magic. That's generally a pretty good thing. At least in a non-RPG game. Haha. Have I even shown off the other kinds of magic? I mean, I think I have... I think I have one of every... Oh. Well, I accidentally showed you Seekin or whatever. That's, uh, what button? Okay. Oh, Temper! Yeah, I don't have Seekin yet. That's the other one. Boost your attack and... Oh, it boosts my defense? I didn't know that. Oh, well. Come here. It feels so cheap to do that, but whatever. So where am I going? Sabby dabby. Oh, here we go. It's like this music. It's got the like, I don't know, the sort of horse, cloppy beat thing. What the hell instrument is that? I am not a music person. That's reasonably common in like old westy type stuff, but I like it. It sets the pace nicely. I'm just gonna ignore you. Your butt face. Ooh. Hey. Stop stabbing me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have ignored the bat. The boo bat. Haha. -ha. Oh, right. You stay dead if I kill you, so I am gonna kill you. In video games, it's surprisingly common for things not to stay dead if you kill them. Which is generally the definition of killing, really. I also like that time pauses when you, uh, ow. When you open the chest, you don't get, like, murdered while you're opening the chest. There's really no reason to fight you, but I'm gonna kill all of you just because. That's just who I am. See, f this is way more fun than the normal difficulty, so I definitely recommend playing on this difficulty level. Also gives you a reason to actually use your damn magic. Ow. Stab. Ow. Oh hey, I have more health. It's probably in one of these two boxes that I completely ignored while I was opening them. Okay. One more chest and 22 coins. I do miss killing things faster, though. But... Oops. But honestly, drawing it out makes the fighting more interesting anyway. Makes it more of a matter of strategery instead of just... 
you know, running in and pressing the A button a couple times and winning. Now I hate it when games make hard mode just making the game way longer and there's no strategic difference or anything. In, in a lot of games, making fights take longer really does enforce the strategic element of it, uh, especially in Mega Man stuff. But, uh, like, if hard mode doesn't, depending on the game, uh, sometimes you really do need to make, you know, make your enemies have better tricks or something in hard mode. Especially if you want to make it actually a lot harder. But for this game, I think the difficulty settings are pretty nice. You know, they don't need to be overly complicated. But for Mega Man games, I really like it when the added difficulty modes actually add new attacks, or they make attacks harder to dodge. Because generally with Mega Man, if you learn what you're doing too much, it stops being fun. Unless you're one of those people that just wants to, you know, beat the original game, and only plays the 8-bit ones, and you can play it in 8 seconds, and never take a hit, and... That's just bleh. I never really liked the strict procedural nature of it, where you gotta go, you gotta go get Metal Man, and then you gotta do this other thing, and you have to play in a very unnatural way. Um, sure. I'll actually probably use that Eye of the Beholder. That is one freaky looking thingy. Pro tip, stab the beholder in the eye. I never would have thought to do that. Stab you in the face. Lots of eyes. I wonder if that's foreboding something. Probably not. Probably not. Ow. Stupid eyes. Oh, I guess I could have boosted myself. It's Natty! And no legs! You monster! Give them back! Stab you. Oh, sweet. I like how this guy attacks. But you're gonna go give back our no legs and our mage here. We need those. Those are important. They're also our friends, maybe. But more importantly, they have practical value to us. I don't know why I just healed. Felt like the cool thing to do. All the cool kids heal for no reason. Ow. Sweet music, though. The action's kind of lagging slightly. But that's my computer's fault. And Flash's fault. Why are you not dying faster? You have way too much health, bro. I call hacks. Frick Ow. I was wondering what the bosses would be like. I assumed they'd all be pretty different. That's not what I intended to do. I intended to... There we go. Cast Temper. Aha! You're dead now. Holy shit! Uh... I wasn't actually expecting that. Okay, I'll <laughs> play your game. I should have expected that. He does that in the real game. It's like main attack, but I kind of wasn't expecting that. Plus, like, frickin' instant death. Ow. Oh, crap. Now, one of you better drop magic. Or two of you. You know what? 
We're starting that over. God damn it. <laughs> oh well. Just gotta be careful. Fuck. If you guys don't drop magic, I'll need pest. Okay, that's good. Should take them on one at a time. Also, stabbing him in the eye does not actually seem to do any more damage than hitting him elsewhere. The boss, I mean. Oh, level up. That's good. Thinking by the end, I'll probably regret my brilliant idea to start playing on uh, epic difficulty, but... Oh well. Maybe I'll just have to practice a level before I play it. Stabby! Ha! Whoa. What's he doing? Oh, right, that's just his... I've taken damage... thing. Some of his tentacles longer than others. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, sometimes they're smaller. He's got tentacle impotence. See? That one was bigger. Do those affect bosses? No, they don't seem to. Because, ow, ow. Fire is supposed to, you know, it leaves them, leaves enemies with lower defense. But I don't think it works on bosses. My cat's trying to break things. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Frickin' moths. Magic, go! Kept pressing the magic button. So many things! So many things not dying. Okay, I do love this staff, though. Even though it, like, halves my damage. Actually, not like, it exactly halves my damage. Shh! What? How do I know what which way he's gonna do that? Like, seriously. I mean, I know Natty has the little exclamation point, but I don't... I didn't notice him doing anything that would indicate which way he's gonna shoot his laser. Ah, oh, shh. Okay. Maybe the color of the exclamation point? Okay, no, it's the angle. But it seemed like her exclamation point was silver when he was doing the flat against the ground one. Also, I might have to reduce the difficulty because this is pretty freaking hard already. I guess if we stay close to him, it's not terrible. Okay. Probably staying near him is probably the best way to do anything. Shh. Okay, I've got that timing down. That's important. It's tentacle spikes. Jump! Fuck! Oh well. Timing on that is very tight, but it's certainly possible. Okay, we can do this this time, I think. Heal! What the- what? Hadn't seen her do that before. Also, with the, uh... When you're using temper, all the while you're blinking, you have the... You know, you deal more damage and you take less damage. So that's how you tell if you have it or not. Okay, I don't think- th this isn't too difficult. What? What was that? Uh, maybe that just means he's summoning more noobs. What the fuck?! Was my health that low? I'm gonna have to give this another go in another video.